day 39 and it was so windy last night. I stay down there. until just a few minutes ago and oddly I left at 7.09 again. I was trying to get out of there before everything blew away. Whew, what a night. I was just up there. It was so windy. It was blowing me sideways. I am not even joking. I was a little worried. <laughs> I couldn't even take a video. Off this mountain. This is so windy up here. I never have walked in such high wind. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful, but whew, it was difficult getting up here. I have got to get off this mountain now, too. Okay, look at the lovely view. Look at that farm down there. So beautiful. And it's not so windy. Oof, it was windy up there. I cannot tell you. It was, it was windy. <laughs> I, I cannot tell you exactly what the gusts were. But on more than one occasion, I thought it was going to blow me over. Right down. But the trail now looks like this. This is lovely. This has been one of the most difficult days for me because of that wind. Oh, so much, so much wind. Oh, here it comes again. Hope I didn't change out fog for wind. Okay, I have to go. Look at this. I think this means officially leaving North Carolina for the last time. What? This is a milestone. Another state down. I didn't know this was coming up. Oh, I thought it was in a while. So happy. Yay. This is the B and B I'm at, and it is reported to have the best breakfast on the trail. Very excited about that. Very cute property. Very nice. This is the, on the left is the hostel and the resupply store, and I'm up in the house there at the B&B. &B. There's this creek or river running right through it, and outdoor seating on the other side. There's a food uh, trailer, like food truck, so dinner starts at 5, and yeah, one-stop shopping. All I need to do here is rest, relax, laundry, shower, resupply, it's all here. Loving it.